What's up, welcome to episode Gizmo Slip. We are here in a craft shop. We are going to get something freaking epic. Check this out. This right here is called Quick Water Simulated Water. Uh, and the idea is that it fakes the water. Uh, I had an awesome idea. I was like, why not use this as a drop test and see if it can protect an iPhone from a 100 foot drop. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. All right, we got our simulated water. We've got a six inch vase and we've got a vase. I don't know how you say it, but either way, we've got an iPhone 7, 32 gig matte black. Let's see if it fits in this vase. Oh no. Ah, there we go. Okay, good. I was worried for a second and we were like, I don't know if it's gonna fit, but it fits perfectly. Look at that. All right, so this stuff comes in two tubes. Swing. When these two tubes are inserted into said uh, container, they activate and they harden. It takes about eight hours for it to harden, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and do the actual drop test. In goes the iPhone-o. Shwoom. That is probably gonna overflow on us. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh, <laughs> that looks gnarly. I really don't wanna spill this stuff. It's like goopy glue type stuff. Okay, I think we're good. Now we gotta wait eight to 10 hours for it to dry. Do you think this will protect the iPhone 7 from a 100 foot drop? Post your opinion in the top right. We'll see you tomorrow and find out. Woo. Check that out. Freaking awesome. You guys want to be in the video? Why don't you tell the camera your names? Hello, I'm Julie. Hello, I'm Sammy. <laughs> and this is Jeff's children. So this is an iPhone 7 inside simulated water. We're about to go drop it. Do you think it will survive? Yeah. No. No, yeah? <laughs> Instant. Very opinionated children. All right, well, let's go find out if this survives. Here we go. And this is Carla, my girlfriend. My girlfriend. The idea is that uh, we want it to go right into the hole. Oh my God. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh my God. Notice that it doesn't, it doesn't flow out at all when we tip it over because it's had a chance to cure. But look at that, that is awesome. All right, so it's ready. Let's drop it. Here we are, 100 feet, here we go. <laughs> Let's go find out what happened. Holy cow. Oh man, I don't even know how to pick this thing up. <laughs> it actually held together really well. I thought it was gonna explode and just go everywhere. Let's see. Oh wow. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that thing out. <laughs> oh dang. Let's go take a look at the Phantom Clip and see what it looks like in slow motion. Here comes the iPhone in the glass case with simulated water. And kaboom! And whoa, the way it like reverberated, just like the whole thing smushed down for a second and all of the glass just went kaboom. Way cool. It looks like so much glass came off of there, but so much glass is still left on the actual vase itself. So it's like, it's hard to say if the more glass exploded or more glass stayed on. I guess I'd say a lot more glass stayed on it, but that's a lot of glass in the explosion coming down like snow now. That's freaking epic. Let's try to get that iPhone out of the simulated water and see if it survives. Just check this out. So we've got so much glass in here and I cannot believe that more glass didn't come apart when it impacted. The iPhone is stuck inside but I'm seeing some potential damage here. That might be the screen separating. So let's cut this thing out and see if that iPhone is still alive. I don't even know where to start. Let's start at the top. It doesn't even penetrate when you put a knife into it. It like barely goes in. <laughs> My God. This is ridiculous. Probably scraping the back up a lot with this knife. Made some progress. 
Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you can see the iPhone down there. It looks like it's done. I mean, this is like as cushy and as durable a case as you can get, I would think. But I guess not. I'm getting the technique for cutting through this stuff a little better. Just gotta insert it. Take it out and keep inserting it. That's what she said. Oh my God, what's that stop? Oh, that does not look good. See this angle. That is not good. I'm trying. Oh, 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 man. Brutal. You know, I really thought it was gonna survive. I'd say 70-80% chance of it surviving, but not even close. Whew. Don't use simulated water as an iPhone case, apparently. <laughs> I think even just putting it in simulated water and taking it out again would probably end up destroying it. What it was is I think the screen was so glued to the simulated water that when it deformed, the simulated water pulled the screen off of the iPhone itself. That would be my guess. But uh, what did you think? Post in the comments down below. So if you enjoyed this drop test, be sure to go check out the liquid glass putty drop test that I did last year. A link in the description, annotation at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Brandon, out. Woo.